That's Ryan Wesley Ruth, the man suspected of trying to assassinate President Trump. I'm looking for revolutionaries. I love people want to take this whole system down. The 58-year-old is on the campus at Harvard University in 2022, trying to recruit volunteers to fight in Ukraine. Now a profile is emerging of a man obsessed with firearms and the war in Ukraine. He has a record 74 arrests for firearms, explosives, and other offenses. In 2002, he fled cops after he was pulled over for driving without a license and barricaded himself in his office for three hours with a machine gun in his hometown of Greensboro, North Carolina. Tracy Folk was the arresting officer. When you heard about his recent uh, involvement down in Florida, I mean, what was your reaction? I was like, holy cow. I, I mean, I knew who he was immediately. Could you believe somebody who has had so many run-ins with law enforcement was able to be free, get a gun, and go down there? It's crazy. Ruth is twice divorced and has three adult children. He told a federal magistrate at his arraignment today that he earns $3,000 a month working as a roofer, but owns no assets other than a used truck valued at $1,000. His son, Oren, posted, he is a loving and caring father. It doesn't sound like the man I know to do anything crazy, much less violent. Ruth tried to enlist in the International Legion of Foreign Fighters in Ukraine, but was considered too old. We need 100,000 people here fighting. Instead, he became a recruiter. CBS News senior foreign correspondent Holly Williams was in contact with Ruth for more than a year. Ryan Ruth seemed very sincere, but um, at times, you know, perhaps somewhat naive. Um, at one point, he even sent me an audio track of a song that he'd apparently recorded about the carnage caused by the war in Ukraine. Um, he certainly did not give the impression of being a hardened fighter. Just last week at the debate with Kamala Harris, President Trump was lukewarm in his support for Ukraine. Do you believe it's in the U.S. best interests for Ukraine to win this war, yes or no? I think it's the U.S. best interest to get this war finished and f just get it done. All right. Negotiate a deal. I believe the reason that Donald Trump says that this war would be over within 24 hours is because he would just give it up. Could that exchange have triggered an unstable man into carrying out an unthinkable act?